With Tesla Semi's recent accomplishments of transporting over 20,000 battery packs from Gigafactory Nevada to the Fremont plant, a future of sustainable transportation is now clearer than ever. Achieving impressive cost savings of over 20% to diesel trucks and slashing those CO2 emissions by an equivalent of 365,000 tons annually, the Semi is not just a vehicle, but a catalyst for change. So, how did Tesla offer the latest rare update on Tesla's semi-electric truck program? How is the production process of Tesla Semi coming along? The current status of Tesla regarding Elon Musk's production plan has provided a deep insight into the estimated price of the Tesla Semi, ranging from $150,000 to $250,000. This price range significantly undercuts other electric trucks, which typically range from $300,000 to $500,000. Recently, Dan Priestley provided notable updates on the potential of Tesla Semi to directly replace diesel trucks. Every day, Tesla sales demonstrate that electric truck batteries can directly replace diesel truck engines. Additionally, Priestley emphasized the combination of superior experience and economics that Tesla's electric trucks are expected to bring. The application across the entire market will happen much faster than many people might think. Dan, as mentioned, has the potential to become a reality, especially after the EPA announcements regarding Phase 3 greenhouse gas emission standards for heavy-duty vehicles. These regulations will establish stronger standards to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, accelerating the overall transition of fleets to zero emission. When these regulations are enforced, it'll signal the end of diesel trucks. Despite representing only 4% of the total vehicles, they contribute to 25% of total fuel consumption and are responsible for nearly 30% of carbon emission on highways. According to the Department of Energy, with the current regulations in place, paving the way for a widespread transition to zero emissions, the remaining challenge lies in how Tesla executes its production plans. Although the expansion announcement at Gigafactory in Nevada for Tesla sales production in January 2023 faced several delays with construction starting only this January, Elon Musk and Tesla have had to adjust their plans in a recent visit to Tesla operations in Germany. Sent comments, we think it makes perfect sense to create sales in Europe at Giga Berlin. Choosing Giga Berlin as a location for Tesla sales production introduces Elon's long-term strategy considering both the plant's capacity and its convenient location. In Europe, as part of the expansion plan for Giga Berlin, aiming to build additional infrastructure to increase production capacity from 500,000 to a million units annually, although Tesla's contribution to this goal may be relatively modest, providing a positive step in production of about 20,000 electric pickup trucks per year at peak periods. It may indeed be feasible to continue production on a smaller scale in Nevada. Henrik Zahn, a self-proclaimed prominent Tesla sales advocate also shared updates on the progress of Tesla sales at Giga Nevada. He provided visual confirmation through drone footage to clarify. Current activities of Tesla related to sales at Nevada facility, this line will start and may produce 500 to 1,000 Teslas sold, while larger quantities are currently being built, recently revealing that Tesla is constructing a separate building at the northern end of Giga Nevada plant property for large volume sale product lines for Tesla pickup trucks going from east to west. The building's adjacent to and independent of the Gigafactory in Nevada construction. There are two production lines extending along the narrow length of this building, one of which is a relatively short line consisting of about five or six stations dedicated to electric trucks. What's even more surprising is that Tesla is currently heavily relying on component suppliers for sales production. However, the delay in Tesla semi-production has occurred due to specific supplier issues. Currently, most Tesla pickup trucks are being produced using parts from suppliers that Tesla themselves don't have. Currently being vertically controlled and what we're looking at now is some production lines and we'll see many images of Tesla production lines being built at least plaid drivetrain with world-class heat pump battery package with 2170 cells sourced from Panasonic or LG set what features to integrate into the upcoming Tesla sales batch. What new features has Tesla updated for the Semi to make it more powerful? The first feature to discuss regarding the overall changes of the Tesla Semi is Elon Musk's decision to target the European market with Berlin as the manufacturing hub. This requires adjustments to comply with regulations in that region. Tesla sales in Europe may necessitate redesigns to meet EU standards such as maximum tractor length, trailer height of 13.1 feet, and a max weight of 80,000 pounds or 40 tons. This contrasts with the standard U.S. truck dimensions of 72 feet in length, 8.5 feet in width, and 13.5 feet in height, allowing electric trucks a total weight of up to 82,000 pounds, 
under some favorable policies for electric vehicles. Back to the main topic. For Tesla pickup truck is ready to integrate new LFP cells from livestock. Bloomberg recently highlighted Tesla's plan to expand battery production in Nevada, including establishing a small facility using idle equipment from livestock. This move is expected to significantly enhance the charging time of Tesla's semi- Previously, a report from PepsiCo indicated that Tesla could achieve a 70% charge in 60 minutes and get this, a 90% charge in 90 minutes at livestock battery technology support and high efficiency infrastructure. With the ability for Tesla pickup truck drivers to charge from 5 to 95% battery capacity in just 20 to 30 minutes thanks to livestock battery technology and high efficiency infrastructure, drivers may only need 20 to 30 minutes to charge their vehicles. Secondly, Tesla is aiming to introduce another update for its regenerative braking capability. While the current system has been highly praised, Tesla is striving to further improve performance. Dijan Antunovic, director of PepsiCo, stated, We have seen very strong performance-based results based on the region, and Tesla sales will expand our scope in a priceless way. Although specific improvements to the regenerative braking system have not yet been disclosed, it's expected to significantly enhance braking performance, thereby reinforcing it as a competitive contender. The final advantage for effective operation in Europe, where customers have meticulous weight compliance requirements, Tesla sales must face a challenge in increasing their payload capacity. This capability may require stronger brakes and additional reinforcements at the rear of the tractor. Tesla's large drilling rig capability will also require a more powerful engine considering that Tesla sales boasts torque ranging from 1,000 to 2,000 newton meters and output power capable of reaching 1,500 horsepower. However, Tesla may choose to reduce it to about 1,200 horsepower to protect tire wear. Besides, Tesla is prioritizing upgrades for the semi before mass production. What upgrades are they focusing on? As you approach the Tesla semi, the first thing that catches your eye is its sleek design. However, it's what's inside that truly sets it apart. Stepping into the cabin, you're greeted with ample space and a cool, airy feel reminiscent of a trendy urban loft. The expansive interior boasts a rubberized floor akin to subway tiles branded with a Tesla logo, spanning approximately 3 by 7 feet, along with a wall panel and a jump seat on the right side, providing lots of room for even the tallest drivers to maneuver comfortably. At the helm, a steering wheel and two screens serve as both a control panel and display for vehicle operations. The rearview mirror is supplemented by a camera display on the left, offering an enhanced entertainment screen and dual control functions, providing various views from four cameras, including passenger side, rear left, rear right, and top-down views. The main screen on the right serves as the primary entertainment interface, featuring settings for towing hitch control, HVAC functions, including seating, navigation settings, and a plethora of apps like Spotify and karaoke. Notably absent, however, is specialized software for a freight control interface, similar to what Rivian has for Amazon Prime delivery trucks or what Fresh provides for grocery delivery. Instead, drivers use the Tesla app on their phones as keys and are provided with a tablet stored in the right cabin compartment. This compartment also houses two charging pads, wireless cup holders, and a hazard warning switch. Brake and trailer brake controls, along with charging ports for both the vehicle and mobile phones, ensure convenience in keeping devices powered up. Additionally, the windows can be opened and feature interior cameras to monitor or record behavior within the cabin behind the third row steering wheel. Various switches control different cabin functions, augmented by paddle shifters on the steering wheel, which feature an automatic selector and turn signal stocks with Tesla's signature light. These controls also include adjusting accelerator and brake pedals, as well as switches to operate the windows, conveniently located for toll booth payments or document exchange. Ever wondered about Tesla's semi-hidden treasure trove? Explore the Franken HVAC system inside as we immerse ourselves in the electrified air of Tesla. The hidden Frank and HVAC systems inside Tesla's pickup truck mark the first time we get a glimpse inside. You can see HVAC along with a windshield wiper and other additional features. Unlike its prototype back in 2019, this quirky thing is not just an empty space, but essential machinery like electrical wiring system, engine, and of course the HVAC. Stepping into the HVAC field, we discovered a complex system designed to harmonize with the unique dynamics of an electric vehicle. Tesla's HVAC system arranges a delicate balance of cooling, heating, and airflow dynamics. The liquid-cooled system phases the liquid cooling stage, the electric motor, and preconditions the air before it pours into the cabin. Meanwhile, the electric coil provides warmth, ensuring comfort in diverse climate zones, while the silent fan gently pushes stable airflow through strategic vents. 
This meticulous airflow management ensures every nook and cranny of the cabin is enveloped in comfort. The HVAC system array of sensors continuously monitors and adjusts the cabin conditions to the appropriate temperature and humidity levels for resident comfort. The integrated control screen offers customization options that empower users to tailor the environment with Tesla's precision commitment to both health and happiness. Shining in, in its advanced air atmosphere, the filtration system uses HEPA or equivalent technology to clean air pollutants inside the cabin, creating a pristine and healthy environment. As we bid farewell to this exploration of Tesla's pickup interior, we're left with a sense of awe and anticipation for what the future holds. What are your thoughts on Tesla's pickup interior? Why is the production of Semi experiencing delays that are similar to those with a Cybertruck? Both Tesla's Semi and Cybertruck projects face significant hurdles, making the delays from their original timelines much more evident. The Semi was announced back in 2017, with deliveries expected to start in 2019, but it wasn't until December 2022 that the first units finally began production and delivery. Meanwhile, Cybertruck, unveiled in 2019, was slated to start production by late 2021, but has faced continuous delays. According to Elon Musk, the Cybertruck's now expected to start production in first quarter of 2024. The reason behind these delays has been extensively investigated and encompasses several factors. The COVID-19 pandemic caused major disruptions in the global supply chain, resulting in widespread semiconductor chip shortages. Both the Semi and Cybertruck rely on advanced chips such as NVIDIA Drive Orange chips for their autonomous driving systems, along with other features. Tesla's made several design adjustments to both the Semi and Cybertruck since their initial introduction. These adjustments, while enhancing performance and features, may cause delays in production and delivery. For the Semi, replacing traditional side mirrors with body-mounted cameras has been done to improve aerodynamics and reduce those blind spots. Additionally, using Michelin Energy Saver 4S tires aims to optimize range and efficiency. Improvements to the front bumper and interior upgrades have also been made to enhance cooling, aerodynamics, and driver experience. For the Cybertruck, changing the body material from steel to stainless steel aims to increase durability and rust resistance. Using Tesla Armor Glass for the windshield is a significant safety enhancement, while suspension upgrades and overall design tweaks aim to improve off-road capability and provide a more rugged appearance. These adjustments not only enhance the competitiveness and appeal of Tesla vehicles in the market, but also provide users with a better driving and usage experience. However, implementing these changes may cause some delays in production and delivery. Both the Semi and Cybertruck pose unique production challenges, as they are entirely new types of vehicles with advanced features. Producing Cybertruck with a stainless steel body also presents technical difficulties. Tesla is currently heavily focused on producing the Model Y, one of their best-selling vehicle lines. This may divert attention and resources away from development and production of Semi and Cybertruck. Moreover, there is a high market demand for both the Semi and Cybertruck, with significant numbers of pre-orders from large customers and businesses. Regarding the Semi, Tesla's received over half a million pre-orders from leading transportation companies like Walmart, Pepsi, and UPS. This is an impressive figure, indicating strong market interest and demand in the transportation sector. For the Cybertruck, Tesla recorded over a million pre-orders. This high level of interest from both individuals and businesses is further evidence of the high demand for high-performance and utility transportation vehicles. It's worth noting that the popularity of Tesla's other electric vehicles, like the Model Y, has also fueled interest in Semi and Cybertruck. Elon's best-selling vehicle line saw impressive sales in first quarter of 2023, with a total of 184,800 units sold, accounting for 59% of Tesla's total vehicle sales in the quarter. This demonstrates the strong growth of the electric vehicle market and consumer interest in Tesla products. The high demand for this Semi and Cybertruck is driven by factors like superior performance, cost savings in operation, and sustainability. This makes the transition to electric vehicles appealing to both businesses and individuals. So, will the Semi get mass-produced soon? In a video on Jay Leno's YouTube channel, Dan Priestley was mentioned in a previous report on the EVSum.com website. The quote from this video emphasized Tesla's collection of positive feedback data from their drivers. They are spending time improving the market product before mass production, with the goal of becoming an expert. There are about 136 Tesla pickups on the road, and Tesla is investing time to perfect the product before mass production, and that's an important step. Tesla's access data from their fleet, as well as from Pepsi, to ensure that their Tesla semi meet the requirements of the commercial transportation market. This is an important step before building a Tesla, Tesla semi manufacturing plant, with the goal of perfecting their product before they get into the market. A positive sign that Lars will mention is that Tesla continues to produce batches of pickups. 
in 2024, this indicates that they're close to their goal. Another positive sign is that Tesla plans to build a separate manufacturing facility at Gigafactory Nevada and has announced hiring for a variety of Tesla semi-related production positions. Furthermore, the number of job openings has increased from 10 in October last year to 18 recently, indicating that Tesla is making progress in mass production. While producing 50,000 pickup trucks in 2024 doesn't seem possible, Tesla's plan to build a new factory by late 2024 shows that they are making efforts to achieve this goal. This indicates that Tesla is preparing for mass production and is expected to start it in 2025, potentially achieving that goal of around 50,000 pickup trucks a year. We hope you'll experience the utmost relaxation after watching this video. If you do, please press the like button and join the community by subscribing to our channel. Hit the notification bell icon to stay tuned for any fantastic videos coming your way. Your feedback and time are highly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.